You're quite safe here. Hello, F Wax. Bag six. Alrighty, now I'm just warning you here and now that uh, there may well be coughing, spluttering, uh, sneezing. In today's build, I'm just giving you fair warning because I am hellish, Paulie. Absolutely hellish. So we will proceed hastily. And then I'm... I'm I'm uh, going back to bed, quite frankly. So, who are we starting with? Uh, a Billy's Mason. The Susie. And the Strawberry. The Mooning Minry. The Matara. The Lego. A Wiss. A Berry. <laughs> he says, I don't think the colour of the truck or the Ghostbusters firehouse comes across very well on the YouTube videos. It's a much brighter colour in real life. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I completely agree with you. I mean, where I'm sitting, it's just a lovely, vibrant, burgundy colour, which I'm very much enjoying. I mean, it's certainly nowhere near brown. Oh, let me just press that in. Just noticed that. But he says, yes, the Great Scattering was a full disaster and a broken build, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was. Do you remember in the old days? when I used to have, a, 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 at the back of the haunted table, there used to be all my pots, all my pots that had bits in them. Th those are the pots that are all behind me now um, in, in, in the Lego shed, but they, they used to line up all across there. And uh, there was something on top of it. There was some small build that was on top of them and it, and it toppled off. But can any of us remember? What it was, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, my waters are telling me. It was the diner. I can't believe no one, no, uh, no one remembers. Where's Ruth Hayes when you need her? The, the, our, our historian, the RWB historian. I'll tell you who would have remembered. God bless him forever. Mr. Graham Triggs. He'd have known in a nanosecond. Oh, God. Damn, I miss that fellow. Um, then Bevis says, I'm going to have to speed through the diner videos to see if it's one of those. It does have to be the Doc's Diner or Destiny's Bounty. Destiny's Bounty, Destiny's Bounty, Destiny's 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 Bounty. To proceed uh, uh, WTA though, it's definitely not Ninjago City. If I win the truck, he then adds, in the Goose giveaway, I'd quite like it only dismantled to bag five as well, please. Thank you very much. Honestly, the demands, the demands of these people. Um, well, we will end, let's just say we will enter a period of negotiation if either you or Tanya now dress to win the uh, the pickup truck in this month's Goose Giveaway will enter a period of negotiation. I, ca I can't say better than that. Then Bevis Musson says that engine is a rather lovely build, wasn't it? It's really lovely. You see, look, we've gone from, oh, we hate this, to, oh, look, it, it's actually really lovely. It's, yeah, it's really lovely. It's a really lovely set. It's super. It's super duper duper, even though I will never forgive it for that. Absolutely unacceptable. A uh, Bevis Muscle says, okay, episode 41, Destiny's Bounty, part of the side of the boat disintegrates. 
and Knuckles says, oh, this is like the great scattering all over again. So if the fruit in Ninjago docks going everywhere is the great scattering, no, that was not the great scattering. Going everywhere is the great scattering. It happened sometime before Destiny's Bounty. The fruit going over it was not, that was not the great scattering. The great scattering was whatever it was, it fell off the top of the, um, the, the, oh, I've actually lost the words on it. Hang on a minute, I just need to, I just need to. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do you know what I need? I need now someone to cut like like you know you know in in cartoons when someone's gone all deflated and they need pumping up. That's what I need. I need. Oof, 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 oof. Right. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. It was on the top of whatever. I can't remember what what it, the technical name for it is. The the thing that was there that was all the pots that had pieces of Lego. I don't even know what they're called anymore. This is this is way worse than vending machine. This is way worse. Um, so then he adds, uh, assuming the fruit scattering is a different event, yes, it is a different event, so maybe it is Ninjago City. I was going to look through them too, but then I got bored and didn't rude. Put your back in. If you're going to do something, Bevis, please do it properly. <laughs> this is watching those early RWB uh, videos. It did make me wonder if you remember how to do the Effawak hand symbol. Still though. Oh well, let's give it a go, shall we? Drum roll, please. Now, for new, for newbies, this was obviously pre pre the days when we had badges. This was a way of identifying yourself at a party to see if anyone else was an Affawack. So you would go. Thank you. Thank you. All nipples. Thank you. That was the that, that was the secret sign. That was the secret sign that wasn't remotely overly complicated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The secret sign. If you're an Apple Wack, if you're an Apple Wack, you can do the secret sign. Thank you. Secret sign. Neil, he hasn't got a theme tune. Hang on. Hang on. There it is. Wait. You've forgotten a tile. John Perry will have your guts for actual gutters. Uh, Neil says, so does this mean the legendary Great scratch Scattering was pre-YouTube build film RWB? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, does this in fact point to Mother Goose creating RWB misleading folklore? No, 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 no. Did the Great Scattering never actually happen? Hashtag the Great Scattering. Or no, no the Great Scattering absolutely 100% happened. It was terrible. It sent things flying. And actually, I kind of feel that that was sort of at the beginning of, of when we were establishing that the table was haunted. It was the first haunting incident, let's put it that way. Then Bevis says, uh, no, I suspect I just haven't found it rather than anything else. It was definitely an on-camera disaster. Yes, it was. Yes, it absolutely was. And anyone who witnessed it can never forget it, although it would seem everyone has forgotten it. I mean, what on earth? What on earth? Graham Triggs would have remembered. Graham Triggs would remember it in a nanosecond. In an absolute nano. What's happening here? Let me see. That's happening. And then that's happening. Yes. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. Little Sue. And she's called Little Sue. She's little. She's called Sue. She's little Sue. Yes, hello, Emma. Hello. For goodness sake, don't put that in the wrong place. Okay, well done. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I almost put it in the wrong place. Yes, you're right. Anyway, hello to you. Um, how are you feeling? I mean, really bad. Really, really 
a really bad, I mean, this is terrible. I mean, should you even be in the Lego ship? Probably not, no. But uh, I, wanted to I wanted to come, little Sue, and that counts for something, doesn't it? Yes, it does, yes, yes, yes. You've still got your zest for life? Yeah, yes. I mean, there's not much life in me at the moment, but I've still got a zest for it. Oh, that's super news. It's super news. Anyway, what can I do for you today? Yes, well, Emma, I did enjoy the intricate matter uh, with its VS engine badge. Uh, of course, I refer to the front of the, the intricate matter. Yes, the intricate matter. It's good, isn't it? Yes, really good. Yeah, the intricate matter was excellent, yes. Uh, the engine itself started to look like a miniature typewriter for a moment in because it's the same shade of green. Did you notice this? Mm, let's have a little remind us. Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. Yeah, it's like the typewriter. Yeah, it's like the typewriter, yeah. <laughs> well, then, okay, that, I mean, that's it for now. I may be back later, but uh, for the meantime, please. Please. Press the button. Yep. Thank you, little Sue. Thank you. No, my, my, my pleasure. Thank you. Carry on. Yes, thank you. Oh, look, it's me again. It, it's almost like I, I said I was going and I've tricked you and I'm back again. Mm. Oh, yes. How unlike you. Um, yes, I know. You can't, you can't take your eyes off me, Emma. No, I know. Yeah. I'm well aware. Well aware of that, little Sue. Well aware of that. Hang on, please. What's happening here? I need to work something out. I need to work something out. Right, okay, thank you. That was a light tether. Light tether. Uh, Emma. Yes. Uh, can I please say thank you to Tim Goff? He's definitely not a pirate. And uh, John Barry. He loves dials. Yes, you can. Yes. Well, anyway, I'd like to say thank you to John Barry and to Tim Goff uh, for the little orange fish words. I decided to name them, Emma. Oh, yes, let's, let's hear it then. Do, do you want to see them? Yes, I would like to see them. Mm, crumbs are all the way over there. Hang on, I'll see if I can reach without pulling everything over. Let me just, let me just, let me just sort them out because, there we are. All right. They haven't been disassembled yet, little Sue. M mostly due to illness. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, could you please get the pointer? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. I have decided to name the small one Ned. Ned. Yes, Ned. Ned the fish. It's a very unfishy name. Uh, just be quiet. This is they're my fishes. They're not yours. All right. The large one is called Norman. Norman, Ned and Norman. Are, are they how are they related? Are they re are they brothers? Is this the dad? Is this the son? Or is this the dad? And this the son? Are, are they going out with? Are they are they partners? What, what's what's the relationship between Norman? I mean, they're just fish, Emma. Mm, all right. God, blimey! Anyway, I eagerly await their arrival. Also, poor Ned, uh, being knocked off his porch like that, of course, he's not on a perch because he's a goldfish. Yes, he's, he's, he's treading water. That's what they're doing here. They're treading water. Yes, okay, well, thank you. That's Norman and that's Ned. Okay, thank you. Thank you. But thank you. You can, thank you. You can, you can take, you can take away the pointer now. <coughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Look after them, please. Don't look them over. No, I won't look them over. They're up there. They're perfectly happy. I imagine that they will be disassembled at the weekend, little so, And then there will be a, a protracted uh, length of time while we wait for Georgia Gibbon to go to the post office. Almost forgot what a post office was called then. That, that's how bad it is today. <sighs> it's pretty bad today. Eric, he's got a duck of fans, yo. They both like watching Lego and the real like musicals. Oh, his name is Eric. Bum, bum, bum. He says, nice mounting of the engine block. Uh, hashtag boing. 
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Professor Lego. It's back to Professor, it's back to back Professor Lego pals. Mmm, exciting. Today's pal, what should Mother Goose build next? Uh, is it the first one or the haunted house or a bracket ball? Okay, well, here it comes. Here's the, here's the results. In second place, with 18% of the vote, it's the Vespa. But in first place, uh, with 82% of the vote, it is the Haunted House Rebrickable. Oh, that's going to be exciting, isn't it? It's going to be exciting. Oh, that's going to be a big take apart. That is flipping heck. We'll get it done, though. We'll get it done. All right, hang on. Oh, I've missed out an element here. I'm making two of these, just so you're not confused. Yeah, it's not us who are confused. Shh, be quiet. Just be quiet. Honestly, can't a person have a terrible head cold in it around here? Can't they? And just be a little bit slow? Can't they do it? Goodness sake. <sighs> Still can't remember what you call the, the thing that you have all the bits of your Lego. And I can't remember, it's absolutely, my brain's died. Roger Maybanks, all fine, all fine. Roger Maybanks, all fine. It says, possibly this is a close match to the colour of the pickup truck. This is my Corvette Stingray from the Speed Champions Rage 2020. Uh, these are fun little builds and no Technics shenanigans. I, I'm not sure. No, I, I think you're wrong. It, 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 it is absolutely the Ghostbusters firehouse. It's claret red. That's what it is. Boo! Goo! Woodcock! Is it any chance I could hang out with little Sue in the cafe for a while? You know, just while a permanent location is found. Also, this was a big bag. Hashtag epic proportions. Yes, you can. Look, I'm, I'm, oh, crumbs. I've, ju I've, just, I've just given Kerry West a, a little tremble. Look, I've moved you. Uh, can you see? You're there. In front of Little Sue's Cafe with the poisson croissant and... Guy Diamond, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take all the applause. I remembered his blinking name. <coughs> Susan Barrett loves Lego. Susan Barrett, uh -oh. thank you. I think that was successful. That was successful, wasn't it? Anyway, Susan Barrett uh -oh. says, I think it was Susan Barrett loves Lego, beautifully sung. Uh, Alan Twitwoo, Alan Harwood says, rum de dum di de do rum de dum de di do Yes, yeah, Susan Barrett loves Lego. Susan Barrett. Uh -oh. Thank you. That's it, isn't it? Hmm, what's happening here? Hang on. Hang on. Just having some mild tetherage here. Stainless Soul Cat says, I like the curves on this truck. Some of the cars are just too slab-sided. The Aston Martin being very bad for that, but this is lovely. Uh, Susan Barrett uh -oh. says, completely agree. She then adds, I feel I should say that I'm quite good with a bow and arrow. Excuse me? Excuse me, where's this come from? That you're quite good with a bow and arrow. What? I need more information, please. I tried um, archery one. In fact, I have, I have still got a bow bow and arrow. I think I've said this before, but it was when we were um, coming up to the London Olympics and I, I suddenly thought to myself, oh I know, let, let me try, what can I try and get good at in order, in order to become an Olympian? Anyway, I gave, I gave it a go. I, I, I wasn't terribly successful. I was too surprised, but shh, be quiet, at least I tried. Then Susan Barrett. Uh -oh says love a moving part a uh, lot of boings today she says yeah yeah all the boings 
Uh, then Susan Barrett says, is it me or is the side of the truck slightly wonky? Well, it was wonky. And then she says, I take back wonky. I think it's just not completely pressed together. Yes, it, w it wasn't fixed correctly, but, but as, as, I, as I made very clear yesterday, in my totally not a minor panic, uh, I kept my head and uh, I worked it out and I blinking well fixed it. I blinking well fixed it. What's happening here? That's happening. Ooh, 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 yes. And that's happening. I have to turn the heater off now. Excuse me. I had it on for emergency purposes. And the, oh no, oh no. I almost sent a lot of the knoll onto the floor then. <sighs> I have retrieved the situation. We're fine. Um, that. Hmm. doesn't work, does it? Mm. Well, oh no. Right, what? What? Oh, it does work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It does work. And that's going there. Not going there. All right. Um, Google Eyes. TVZ, oh, it says, when the conversation about the great, great scattering was happening, I almost expected someone to interject with no, 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 yes. Mm. Um, I can't believe that, 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 uh, that, that there is now doubting about the great scattering. That, I mean, it was one of, it was the most extraordinary... It, it was one of the most epic things that ever happened on camera. It was very alarming. Very, very, very alarming. Uh, Eric says, I have volunteered to help backstage with the production of my home theatre because they were in desperate need, which means for the next two weeks I may not get to watch RWB same day. Oh, no, Eric. So, we'll miss you. May have to delay and watch a few in a row. I know I will be worn out, but I also know what it's like to be in a production that needs help. Now, if only I could win enough in the lottery so I could retire now and get some actual sleep every day. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> tell me about it. I will enjoy that. By the way, Eric, we haven't had a we haven't had a Ray update in a while. What, what's the state of play there? I mean, he may not see this now for for weeks. But, you know, a Ray update would be most welcome. Mostly we need to know if he's if, if Ray is now dead to me. Um, but we need to know. We need to know. We need to know. A little update would be super. Thank you. Um, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli. Says, yo, did you wear a mask in the classroom? Oh, compromised one. Um, gosh, no. And don't I wish I had done. Don't I wish I had done. That does conclude the business of club. Um, as, as Georgia Gibbon said to me just yesterday, she said, you've spent two years not going anywhere and not doing anything. And the first place you go to is a school. Are you an actual idiot? Yes. Uh, we've got a new piece. Look, we've never had this piece before. Look at that. Never had that before. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is lovely. That's great, that is. That goes on the end there. Yes.
Mm. What's in there? Is it? Yes. Interesting. Then. Two of those, yeah. <coughs> then, oops. That's going there. Oh no, wait, I've done that round the wrong way, how annoying, like that. Voila, oh, I've done that one wrong as well, I've done that one wrong. It's that way. Yes. Then I'm only doing for time, not too bad, not too bad. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely and curved. I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's still nice. And that going on there. Hmm. Then.
from there. Yep. And we've got that on the that end. Then This will be a nice relaxing one for Jackie Swanson. Well, she likes she likes it when it's nice and quiet. She can fall asleep. Got it right this time. Voila. And voila. By the way, I've got a, I've got a I've got another set that's going to go into the um, Fog Exchange. I'll probably reveal that soon-ish. I thought somebody might enjoy it. So I'm going to send it out into the wild. I haven't built it yet, but it'll probably be one I've, I, I'll, I won't build on this on the main channel I'll put it on the, on the Patreon for the gooses <coughs> but I'll, I'll, sh I'll show I'll show you what it is and there we go so right that go on there what a lovely shape look at that isn't that great then Tars Ahoy going that way. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Then.
done pretty well with not sneezing. She says, as she can feel a sneeze mustering. I'm going to try and hold on to it, though. Oh, no. No. Okay. Interesting. that is going oh gosh oh crumbs That's quite hard to get on. Is she? It doesn't want to. Why doesn't it want to sit on? Oh, gosh. Well, I've had a, that. That should be. It should be right up against the end, and it's not. Why isn't it? Why isn't it? It should really go in there. That's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's interesting. So it... No, that's off, isn't it? That's interesting. That's off, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's off. All right, maybe it doesn't stick at the back. Okay, it doesn't stick at the back. No, no, it's too far for too far back. Interesting. A small snafu. Ah, now that's fascinating. That does not want to go forward. Why? What have I done wrong? Maybe I haven't done anything wrong. It needs to be back on there. Golly. Let me just have a look. Let me just have a look here. What have I done wrong? I haven't done anything wrong. Interesting. Hang on a minute. Okay, well, uh, I have fixed it, but it is literally just fixed at that. I think the, pr the, the mistake I was making was thinking that it also fixed downwards. It doesn't. It just fixes onto that. So... You have to sort of lift it up a little bit and stick it in. Uh, but that uh, is the end of the bag. Very nice sort of back end, I have to say. Um, what would you call that? That probably has a technical name, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, that was it. That was bag six. So come back tomorrow and we'll do bag seven. Um, subscribe, like, tell your pals. Athletics forever. See you tomorrow.